Good morning, friends. So I just got back from my early morning walk. It's been my new thing to uh, go out at five o'clock in the morning. I can get up and get going before Emily wakes up. Um, I got my basement set up this weekend, so I wanted to just take you on a fun tour or a quick tour of my basement, how I set it up. Maybe it'll give you some ideas of how you can set up your craft area. Um, well, some of it's not craft, but here we go. Um, we have um, Emily, we brought her scooter down so she can scooter around the basement. And she has her little coloring station here, which I probably will move it closer to me. But um, here we go, we're gonna walk over to my area. Now, my husband asked me why I set this up in the middle and not up next to the wall. And I said, so that you can build the basement around me. <laughs> I, can, I don't have to move my stuff. So let me come over to my area here. It's kind of in a U shape, so I kind of have everything at my fingertips. So this is my stack. I have punches on the bottom. I have cello bags. I have embossing powders, my ink refills, and my big shot set up here. Now in these file drawers, this is the way I set it up. I have a file for each color. So when I have a scrap of that color, I can put it in there. And that way um, I can find the scrap that I need. So there's that two drawers of scraps. My, paper, my small paper cutter for single cuts, my ink pad turn table thing uh, with the adhesives and stuff on the top. Now when I when my basement is complete and I uh, have a new setup, I'm going to actually get the new um, storage units. I saw those at my friend Wendy's house and that was really fun to see how organized that was. So, so basically you can put your, um, your uh, uh, ink pad and your blender, your marker right next to it, um, right next to the color so you can find it. All right, going around the table, we have tools, which is my like scissors and pokey things and little hand pelt punches. And this is a, I think it's the turn, turn style thing from Pampered Chef that I got a million years ago. Over here are my regular markers. Now, normally you would probably hold, um, store them vertically horizontal um, so that the ink stays at both ends but I only use the thick ends of my markers so that's why I store them that way. Uh, regular pens. Okay so here I have my sticky notes and um, dimensionals, things I'm using all the time. My cleaning pad, my lamp because we only have like a couple lights down here. Um, adhe um, diamonds and other things but don't forget your shopping list. I always have my little sticky note with my shopping list so that um, so I can, as I run out of stuff, I can remember. <laughs> Glasses, because I'm getting old. Here is my, I gotta turn this around so you can see my kids. Here's my kids. Stampin' Blends, clear blocks, and then kind of other random things. Moving around here. Now I always like to have the box that has all my really current stuff, the new stuff out, so that um, when I'm playing with just that stuff. I'll have it right there at my fingertips. Any cards I've been making with those pro with the new stuff. And then my big Carl cutter so that I can cut lots, multiple sheets. And let me bring you over to this um, cabinet. Okay, I actually have three of these cabinets that usually were full, but I could narrow it down to one. So that's good. Have all my um, stamps on the top, even like in a double layer so you can see back there. Anything, just so you know, anything marked with a yellow is uh, discontinued, just so that brings it to my attention. Now here's all my full packs of cardstock, or full sheets. And I like to set it up um, like rainbow style, so red, pink, orange, yellow, that kind of stuff. Um, some people like to keep it in their color groups, like the regals and the brights. Down here on this shelf I have ribbons, mini glue dots, dimensionals, I've got sponges in the back, the new adhesive. This is the new uh, stamp and seal adhesive. And then here's all my, kind of hard to see, but my dies and my embossing folders back there. And then down here, envelopes, note cards and envelopes, stamp and tools like embossings and other like business envelopes and things. Okay, so the fun, fun part for Emily over here, this is a little kind of a nook. These are the two couches we brought with, or the three couches we brought with us. And so we've kind of set up a living room down here so that she can have a place to play uh, when I'm stamping, hopefully. Hopefully she's not requiring me to play with her too much, so. All right, well that's just a little tour of my craft area. I look forward to uh, get stamping today. 
Um, it's been a long time since I've been able to just really be creative for a long time. So, um, I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.